Hello, and thank you for your purchase of the Lifetone Bedside Fire Alarm and Clock. This brief video is designed to take you step by step through the setup of your new device. If you need further instruction or you have questions, please contact Lifetone online at www.lifetonesafety.com. Now let's get started. Your package will contain the Lifetone Bedside Fire Alarm and Clock, an attached power cable, four D cell batteries, the bed shaker unit, a quick start setup guide, and user's manual. Insert the bed shaker plug into the back of the unit. Remove the battery door from the back of the unit. Unwrap and insert the included D-cell alkaline batteries into the unit as shown by the diagram in the battery compartment. Batteries are meant as a backup power supply only. The Lifetone units are not designed to operate on battery power alone. Remove the film covering the display. When test appears on the display, it confirms your batteries are installed properly. Plug the unit into the outlet nearest your bedside stand. Place your Lifetone bed shaker unit between the mattress and box spring under your pillow. At this time, the word test should be flashing on the face of the unit. You're ready to proceed to step two. The next step is critical to the proper functioning of your Lifetone unit. You will train your Lifetone unit to respond to your smoke detectors. The Lifetone bedside alarm is designed to identify a signal from a T3 smoke detector. T3 describes the pattern of the signal that the smoke detector emits. Some older units may not emit the proper pattern to alert the Lifetone unit of an emergency. You must have a T3 smoke detector to effectively use the Lifetone unit. Press the red test silence button on the back of the clock. The word test will now stop flashing for 30 to 50 seconds. You may hear a faint beeping sound. That sound is the unit conducting a self-test. This is normal and requires no action on your part. During this time, the alarm is self-calibrating. Wait for the clock to start flashing test again. Once the clock starts flashing test again, locate the most distant smoke alarm you want detected. It is critical to the proper function of the Lifetone bedside fire alarm and clock that you use a properly installed smoke detector that is the furthest unit from the bedside alarm which you want your bedside unit to detect. Press and hold the test button on the smoke detector until the Lifetone alarm sounds and the word fire appears on the screen. When the alarm sounds and the unit flashes fire, your unit is trained. To silence the alarm, press the red test silence button on the back of the clock. If your smoke alarm was not detected or is not compatible, the clock will flash all segments, will beep, and vibrate at a short interval. If this occurs, unplug the unit and remove one of the batteries. Start over at step one. If you're unable to successfully set up your unit, refer to the section Unsuccessful Smoke Alarm Compatibility Test in your user's manual. The HL150 has been trained to monitor your smoke alarm. It will now continually monitor your smoke alarm. If your HL150 detects a sequence of eight T3 signals, it will sound an alarm. It is time to set your clock. The clock will flash the 12 hour time display option. In order to set your clock, first choose between 12 and 24 hour mode by pressing the plus or minus button. Then press the set clock button. The hour will flash. Use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the time. Press the set clock once more. You may now adjust the minute time by again using the plus and minus buttons. Now press the set clock button to set the year. Press the set clock button once more. You will now set your display to read either month then day or day then month display. Use the plus or minus to toggle between the options. When you have your preference set, press the set clock again. The month will flash. Use the plus and minus keys. Choose the number that corresponds with the month of the year. Press set clock and repeat for the day of the week. Press set clock once more. E will flash to signify English as the default language. The clock will show the day of the week to the right of the date. If you prefer to display the year instead, press set clock. To set the alarm, hold the set alarm button until the wake up hour flashes. Use the plus and minus as well as the set alarm just as you did to set the clock to set your alarm. To turn your alarm clock on and off, Use the on-off button. You will see the bell icon on the display when the alarm clock is active. Your Lifetone bedside fire alarm and clock is now set up and ready for use. 
We hope you found this video useful, and we hope you enjoy many years of sleeping safely with your Lifetone bedside fire alarm and clock. Please visit us at www.lifetonesafety.com to share your story and to learn more about our company and products.